Hi everyone, it's Nick Marzinski at TrappingLight.com and this is the second Photoshop project that I'll be working on over the next few weeks. In this project, we're going to be taking this self-portrait that I took of myself and turning it into this. In the first two sessions, we'll be focusing on how to select an image and separate it from its background. In this case, the background that I shot on, you can see this black line right here, it's really not doing anything for me. So we'll be using a combination of Photoshop selection tools like the Quick Selection Brush, as well as other techniques such as the Refine Edge tool and layer masking. Once we've completed those first sessions, our image should look as though it was shot on a white seamless background. From there, we're going to be moving into some simple retouching techniques. As it stands right now, there's a few faults I have with this image. One of my eyes, this one right here, appears to be a little bit lower than the other one. Furthermore, at the time this image was shot, I was wearing a collared shirt. You can see it right here. When I got rid of the background in the shirt, I introduced some slight curves onto my neck right here and right here. It's pretty easy to take care of that using tools like the clone stamp and some simple layer and mask work. And once we do that, the image will look like this. After that, we're going to move into looking at how we can tone the image and grunge it up, make it look grittier and darker. While we can accomplish this effect right within Photoshop, I'm also going to be using a third-party plugin called Topaz Adjust, which is really, really good at applying this kind of effect very quickly and easily. Finally, we'll end up looking at the Liquify filter, which turns the image into something like this. Now, obviously, it doesn't look good right now. But with some layer and masking and brushwork, we can easily create the splatter effect that we saw in the final image. So that's it. Hope this uh, introduction has made you want to stop by over the next few weeks at trappinglight.com to work through the image. When the first lesson of the project is posted later this week, I'll also be providing a low-resolution copy of the original image for you to download so you can work with right along with the tutorials. That's it for now. Hope to see you back here on Thursday for part one of the tutorial. Thanks.